This video will show some advanced examples of variable expressions as inputs of functions. Let's break it down. Consider the following example. f of x is the function 5 over x squared plus 4. Find f of negative x over 2. To do this, we replace all the x's in our original function with the variable expression negative x over 2. When we first do that, our expression is 5 over negative x over 2 squared plus 4. And while this is technically correct, we can simplify it much more. Our first step in the order of operations is to simplify any exponents. So first let's square this expression. Negative x over 2 squared is x squared over 4. And that's positive because it's squared. And now our next step will be to combine this whole denominator into a single fraction. We can do that by rewriting 4 as 16 fourths, 16 divided by 4 is 4, but we've rewritten it this way so that our two terms have the same denominator so that we can now rewrite them as 5 over x squared plus 16 over 4. Since this 5 is divided by a fraction, we can rewrite that as multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction. This looks like 5 times 4 over x squared plus 16. So again, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction, which means you switch the numerator and denominator. Now that it's written like this, we can multiply this 5 and 4 to get a final answer of 20 over x squared plus 16. And at this point, it can't be simplified any further, so this is our final answer. Let's do one more example. Suppose we're given the function g of x equals the square root of x squared minus 4x, and we want to find g of x plus 9. Again, anywhere we see an x in our original function, we're going to replace it with this variable expression. So that's going to look like this. g of x plus 9 is the square root of x plus 9 squared minus 4 times x plus 9. And while this technically is correct, we can simplify it much further. First of all, we can square this binomial, and then we can distribute this 4 to both of the terms inside of this binomial. And this gives us the square root of x squared plus 18x plus 81 minus 4x minus 36. If that step wasn't familiar to you, review squaring a binomial and distribution. At this point, we can combine like terms. This x squared does not have any like terms. There's no other terms with an x squared, so that stays as it is. We see that there are two terms that have just x raised to the first power with no exponent. And so 18x minus 4x is plus 14x. And then here we have plus 81 and minus 36, which subtract to create 45. So this is our final answer g of x plus 9 equals the square root of x squared plus 14x plus 45. This means that if you were going to take some number x, add 9 to it, and then plug it into our function g of x, that would give you the same answer as taking that same number x and just plugging it into this final expression. So those are a few examples of how to use variable expressions as inputs of functions.